We're back taking notes in our Bible, and this is going to be notes for 1 Kings. We're in the book of 1 Kings, and I'm using the Interleaved Bible from Church Bible Publishers. It's got a lot of space for notes, but let's start looking at it. The authors, you're going to have David, Ido the Seer, Ahijah the Shalonite, Shemaiah, Jehu the son of Hanani, and Gad the seer, and there's references for that. And then in this book, you got Jesus pictured as our king, because he's king of kings and lord of lords. And you'll notice all the kings are compared to David. David's the standard. David is a picture of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the standard. He's our king. It's got 22 chapters, 816 verses, and 24,524 words. Okay, the time period, you got 1015 B.C. to 897 B.C. King Solomon is a type of Jesus Christ and the Antichrist. He's a strange character in that way. And this shows that the devil is the greatest imitator of Jesus Christ. Because you got king solomon a type of both of them and there is a spiritual influence on kings and then here's some references to that there there you know god has great dealings with the kings and the devil has great dealings with the kings he likes to get in there and mess with their mind and this book is also called the third book of the kings the title means obviously it's First Kings, and that's a sovereign ruler. Now, historically, you got God establishes the kingdom through Solomon, and Solomon leads it into apostasy, and then it just starts with going through the kings, Rehoboam, Jeroboam, and all the other ones. And devotionally, it's God's spiritual kingdom is established in you at salvation, and the forces of darkness want to bring it down. God's spiritual kingdom starts in you. And the forces of darkness want to bring it down. And that's spiritually speaking. Whereas in the Old Testament it was physically speaking. Now doctrinally. Jesus Christ and his look-alike counterpart. Is what you'll see in this. Because you got David a type of Christ. And then all the other kings. Mo well, not all of them, but uh, most of them fall short in comparison to David. So there's your quick notes. And then here's the basic outlines. In verses 1 through 11, you got rise of Solomon and Israel's greatest time period. 12 through 22, you got the downfall of Israel. Now, another basic breakdown. Chapters 1 and 2, you got the death of David and reign of Solomon. You got the death of David and the reign of Solomon. David has destroyed the last of Israel's enemies. Now Solomon will reign in peace. And then you, in chapter 3 through 5, you got the wisdom of Solomon. Solomon asks for wisdom. In chapter 3 and verse 4. And then 4 through 5, you got Solomon's kingdom is worldwide. Chapter 6 through 8, you got the building of God's temple, and it takes seven years to build. Chapter 9, Solomon is warned against serving other gods. Chapter 10, Queen of Sheba visits Solomon. Chapter 11, Solomon loves many strange women, and his heart is turned from the Lord, and he serves other gods, even though he's warned against it. Chapters 12 through 13, you got the kingdom split. It goes to Rehoboam. He gets the southern kingdoms you got jeroboam he gets the northern kingdoms solomon trusted jeroboam and put him in charge and he ends up being an enemy to solomon because of solomon's idolatry the lord raised up an enemy against solomon and jeroboam was one of them jeroboam takes the 10 northern tribes and it's referred to as israel the 10 northern tribes rehoboam is solomon's son and he takes the two southern tribes judah and benjamin that's big. If you get that down in your Bible, that's a big key right there. From this point on, Israel is no longer one nation, and there is two lines of kings. Chapter 14, Rehoboam dies, and Abijah takes over. 
Chapter 15, you got King Asa. Chapter 16, you got King Nadab. Eli, Zimri, Omri. 17 through 20, you got Ahab and Jezebel. Chapter 21, you got Naboth and his vineyard, that, that great story. Chapter 22, Ahab killed in battle. So that's just a quick little outline or introduction for you to put in your Bible for 1 Kings.